Yo, what's going on, guys? It's the thickest these boys back with another reaction. I am rapper Nate Rose. And I am filmmaker David Elijah Pearsall. And today we're getting into Kenny Mason. He's got a new record out called Facts. Now, it's something about. And Ken that's facts. That, and that's facts, <laughs> bro. Here's a, something about Kenny Mason, bro. The first time I ever met him was at a Def you Jam. You met Kenny Mason? I met him a couple times. So I, I met flex. him the first time at a Def Jam showcase yeah i think this was like 2019 2018 this is before he actually had had any real breakout records so uh -huh. i saw him perform i also saw blast blxst who's on kendrick's Ooh. album and, okay and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah so i met him for the first time as well there and then recently he was at grips album release party um that i was at so he's, hey, he's I from was there atlanta too. were you i remember i was with you oh so yeah I think okay I met look, Kenny. Hey, let's go hey what's up kenny let's nice go. to see you again how about that <laughs> good, good to see you again bro <laughs> no kenny's fire super nice dude Super creative, committed to making dope yeah, art. Yep. So, look, man, without further ado, let's mask up like we finna and rob, rob some. Just a bunch of bros hanging out. Just looking at some money. Right. Spectacle. Smiling. Coop, temperature rising up. 10 in the morning, time to roll. That's a simple concept. It's all in my control. Tell her shout it to focus and breathe. She can't get the high control. Why would I tell you how I've been doing? You already know how I'm doing. You really wanna know how I said mind control. This is how I keep the the minds controlled. And he's in so the whole time he's just holding up a bunch of different materialistic things and all of that be for you looking at it. Uh for me, philosophy books, not playing. Dostoevsky novels, Dostoevsky novels. No, <laughs> no, but um, but this is a fire concept so far. Is this a visualizer? It says extended version, but I don't know if it's a visualizer. It's gonna evolve more as a music video or not. I don't know, but, man. So far, bro, I'm getting some uh, Baby Keem vibes. He said, "Uh, you what the if you something run it back?" But he says something like, "Asking me what the f I'm doing. You already know what I'm doing. It's like a very childish, yeah. childish yeah, type line." Hey, how I've been doing? You already know how I'm doing. Yeah. You oh yeah, it does sound like Keem. If I show you, I know you'd abuse it. My homie said you got a foot. Two different worlds, you know you confuse them. At first, it might cause some confusion. That's how you know that you started the movement. I would cook under the sun in Atlanta for summers. I run with the helmet. Yeah, running with scammers. Telling my mama the bundles of money were random. Up in the I think it is a visualizer. The fuck with it up on camera. Huh? Hey. Some of us turning up artists. Some of us just had to manage. Yeah. I've been on the road for days convincing the 20 year olds to Okay, so I okay, so a couple thoughts that I have. Okay. Number one, you have this kind of grungy guitar um bang, production. Bang, and bang. and so he does this a lot. So he's tapped into this um almost like nineties rock, like kind of grungy feel that mm -hmm. he's rapping over. So that's one thing that I appreciate about his sound, and I feel like it gives you a, a unique feel to the record. Um the second thing is, bro, like his delivery and flow is just so sharp. Like, uh, he's not too hard on certain syllables. It just, everything just kind of rolls off. Like, he's like, I've been on a tab and I wanted a done but nah, yeah. no, no, no. Like, it just, it just rolls off without being forced with, you know, so the syllables are nice. It, it just makes for a good listening experience. So those are two things that I like thus far. And I like the concepts that he's talking about here. You know what I'm saying? He's being, yep. he, and he's being on the nose with it in the video enough that you really, it really like, you know, puts it, like sends uh -huh. it home. You know what I'm saying? Takes yeah. it home. That's what I was looking for. But, but yeah. What do you think so far? Um, I think it's a simple concept video, which you don't see a lot of good ones that are. I mean, a lot of a lot of short concept videos that are executed good. It's a better way to put it. Um, it seems like he's intriguing all of his homies with these like luxurious items right, or right. just things that represent materialism, like money, watches, yep, jewelry, glasses, like stuff like that. Um, so I like it on that metric for sure. What I, there's something I don't know. Maybe you described it better, which was like his delivery is so sharp and he has this kind of like flow to it. Mm -hmm. But also the vocal track, is it lower than like, it's something about this sounds almost like lo-fi. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's probably it's, the way that it's mixed. I mean, a lot of times he'll add like subtle distortion and warmth to his vocals and stuff. Let me, let me, I haven't been paying attention yeah. to that, so maybe I'll hear it and I'll, I'll articulate it. It feels like a song that you're like, I remember the song being so good when I played GTA 5 or G, or any game where you have music in the background like yeah, that. Yeah. It feels like that, which is, it, it's a distinct style. I don't know how to articulate it. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm talking about? Well, let, let, yeah, yeah, I'll listen to the mix and stuff and see what we can do. As a way to control the anger. 
wish I was made to control the space. Don't call me the goat, they say that to every nigga. Call me the Pegasus, ain't nothing as rare as this. I had to train my whole life to prepare yeah, for this. Yeah. All facts, matter of fact, bring it back in a two tone, black and black. Okay, now it's melodic. Give the room, don't push it back. Push it back. Push it back. I got two phones. Give me back. I got two phones. I think it's just the simplicity. That's what it is. It's the simplicity. It's just it's just writing. There's not a lot of instrumentation. It's just got a nice little like subtle trap beat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Very low key. This guitar and occasionally some like little synth melodies that are coming in there. And then his voice is just kind of cutting through and just taking you on this journey. Don't confuse me. And I think you're 100 percent right. Don't confuse me with this as a a jab because it's not. But it, this the undertone of the of the track feels like I left a TV on when I fell asleep. It has this certain feeling like in my uh -huh. brain. It makes me feel that way. Or like the that feels it's like the outro nostalgic. to a Disney Channel so, or, or oh, some sort yeah, of like okay. sitcom series, long going. It's like a Friends, like a, something in the nineties. Yeah, it feels like that, and that's what the uh, that's what that's what I'm getting out of it. I don't this know what does, it is. This, well, I I think what's doing that if you're relating it to the nineties is again back to that the guitar tones mm. and stuff and the music from that time period. He's doing like the the kind of grungy rock. Yeah sound from that time period so yeah. that's probably also what's taking you there even the video too it's like when i watch the video i'm like oh you know i uh left mtv on for a little too long and they just start playing music videos on repeat yeah it okay. feels like that okay. which is a fire like for me that's like i haven't seen what that. he's saying is kenny mason is a classic i guess that's what it is i guess that's what el it classico. is el classico el classico I'm gonna keep kind of going. It's a five minute song. I know we can't pause too much, but right, I right. keep going into this like feeling because it's it's so prevalent in me. But it does feel like my my man's I Kenny. I don't know how you did it, but it's like it does feel like he was like hanging out with his homies. Mm -hmm. It was like three a.m. It reached that point, that threshold where it turns into like sleepless, sleepy, yeah, sleepiness to sleeplessness. Yes, where like you no longer feel tired, and it's like he's like. Man, let's just make a track real quick. No, I'm feeling what you're saying. Like, like as far as the the energy yeah. of it, yeah. No, I'm feeling it. Yo, I, I was gonna bring a couple more things up about his flow. So, like, part of so part of making the rap flow buttery smooth like that, and this is why a lot of rappers do kind of shorten the syllables and phrases and stuff when they're rapping, is is like using that technique in order to, uh, in order to better service the the rhythm of the song. Yeah, and so he's not enunciating all of the different syllables perfectly and so that that's allowing it to flow through and but but on top of that though he's using a lot of different vocabulary words right. that you wouldn't typically hear with somebody who is who is shortening those phrases so much right. like um i'm trying to think of an example but I, I, you, you hear it basically all the way through like he's he's shortening it up so like I, i'm finna be begging it be I'm rolling around the city, dog. Letting it kind of roll off in the end. Like, 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 yeah, yeah, like, bit, bit. Like, it's yeah, just, that's just yeah. B.I., but the, you know what I'm saying? We be doing that, too. Watch out, little bit. <laughs> Every time I see a pedestrian. Every time I see, yeah, yeah. When mildly I'm, inconvenience when, me. I'm, I'm at Walmart, bro, and, like, somebody's pushing carts. Yeah, old lady. Yeah, old lady. She a little short, little shoddy. <laughs> little short, little 90-year-old thing. <laughs> Watch out, little bit. That's so out of pocket, bro. <laughs> Get out the road, ho! <laughs> Dang. I also like how he's maneuvering between like a cool rap flow and then some of the singing. The bunny ears balaclava was crazy. I know. 
He's a he's a furry. He's a whole furry. Watch our podcast to see me turn into a furry. The only thing I don't like about this visualizer is Kenny keeps pointing that gun at me and makes me feel uncomfortable. Speaking of, bro, we work on some projects uh, every now and then. We had a gun pointed at us as we were shooting a video. You know video. who that was? That was Chavo. Chavo. And thank God yes. I, I checked all the guns before we, before we shot that video because my man, during one of the takes, cocked the gun back. It got jammed. And he, but he was in the middle of a performance. And so he just goes, he goes, okay, I'm going to point at the camera and pull the trigger on me while David is like, like in the viewfinder, bruh. I could have died that day, man. I'm he did. Chavo, it. Come if, on. If there bro. was just something hidden, bro, I would have been gone. It would have went through the lens and then through my skull. That's true. But I think we've came a long way. Um, we're now checking guns, but we're also doing new things in the world. That's true. I'm a video director. You're a rapper. I know. We should show him a little something. You want to show him something we worked on? I think Kenny Mason would appreciate that. Okay. Since he met us, right? They say money corrupt everything. I wonder if it's true. So I had to get a bunch of it to see what it could. It records started hustling way back when I wasn't. From my passion early on, but now my peers was privy. I had an ego type of ego, make you win by busting through. Until that ego had me breaking ties with ones I knew. I killed that ego and got money hand in hand. Something new. That's that EQ that I learned while using EQ as a tool. So why? The fuck am I tripping? I used to feel the littest that some shit was popping for me. Now I'm just feeling convicted. I got friends I grew up with that ain't here because addiction. I got friends that got kids and they still popping prescriptions. I got friends, I got, I got friends that had dreams that ain't turned out like they predicted. I got friends that turned hateful and vindictive. I got friends that had trauma as a kid but never fixed it. Now I'm hopping in that Tesla, but this ain't no Honda Civic. Level up. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. All right, man, let's let's take this thing home. I make money with mind control. It's all in my control. Tell her let's shout it to focus and breathe. She can't keep the high control. This is a beautiful melody. I feel like this is something Mowgli would produce. Mm. Yeah. Their acting is pretty subtle, too. I That's like good. it. My head a road with the bro. He promised me he was gonna show me the ropes. Yeah, even when he don't know where to go. I know he don't go. I know they gonna judge my niggas. Difficult finding the fuck. Judge. Difficult finding the funds. They figure maybe you're lining with us to fix it. I'm sympathizing with thugs and killers. I'm in the jazz by the drugs. I'm feeling can't watch it. beat on my own drum. Not when I'm riding with drum and stitching. Not when that fire in my lungs is lifting my brain. Oh, he's right rapping his ass up though. Twisting it really? I kept all of these thoughts to myself. Find out that angels above were listening. Bros keep playing with dividends. He broke the cane in increments. Hope you ain't incriminating yourself. Hoping the moves you make is militant. Can he use Whoever increments, bro? Up, finger the point, the blame with mission it. Whoever was getting the game, I hope unafraid of giving it. Cause I only listen to our fact. Matter of fact. That's hard, man. This is a beautiful track. Yeah, it is. I like it. Black on black. In the room, um, back. That's fire. I like that. It just feels good. Yep. It's like he's not trying too hard, but at the same time, you have all the lyrical depth and, and right. flow that you want to direct. All that. I make money with my control. It's all in my control. Tell her to to focus and breathe. She can't keep the high control. Nice. And that's facts. <laughs> Overall thoughts, man. Bro, I like how the song makes me feel. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of artists that I really respect when you have, you know, you have the Kendricks who who kind of take you to like a whole nother level um, in terms of what you're feeling. It's like you have to really read into it. But then you got people who are just like vibe setters. Yeah. And there's only a few artists that for me that vibe set so well. In that category, you got someone like Frank Ocean. Yeah, right. okay. You have someone like J. Cole, I yep. think is a good vibe setter. I think Drake's in that conversation somewhere. But now I feel like after hearing this track, I'm wondering if Kenny Mason in the rest of his discography fits in there. 
because it, this vibe I, sets for me all the way. I'm riding all the way through. One hundred percent, he does. I'm, I'm familiar with with some of his catalog. Um, there is some stuff that is even more like production heavy, though, a little more complex and stuff as well. So I like that. Though. He kind of has that that entire spread, and and he has some like super hard trappy stuff yeah. as well. So what what I really like is that you're not sacrificing substance for the cool flow. You know, we, we mm. listen to a lot of rappers. That's a good point. We've reacted to some rappers that we have felt that have like a cool flow, really laid back and relaxed, but they ain't really talking about nothing. He's pouring his heart you know out. Sam? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kenny's Kenny's talking about things that are going on, you know, with his homies in Atlanta and like obviously showing how, um, especially people in, you know, the in, in rap culture, you know what I'm saying, have uh, a fixation on materialism. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like every rap song, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, right. we're showcasing. This, this grandiose lifestyle comes with the the hip hop culture, you know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. so he he's he's I mean it has it has basically everything, man. I'm I'm a big fan. Kenny, you killed Me it too, bro. Um, man, I can't believe I met this dude. Didn't realize it. I mean, let's it's go. been a minute. Let's go. There's a lot of faces there, but there there was. I mean, there was a lot of people there. It was crazy. If there's some Kenny Mason fans watching, please leave a comment. What should we check out next? Music yes. video and visual or audio wise i would love to, to check out some more of the discography i'm gonna do it in my own time but definitely here on the channel big old facts big old facts all right till next time gang yeah, baby, peace